Welcome back guys. I uh, thought I'd do a, vid a video today on a problem that I ran into uh, yesterday actually. Uh, as you know I do a lot of um, downloading of distros and installing distros and having dual booting and multiple operating systems on one disk and on separate disks and you name it I've got it. So. Uh, yesterday when I was booting up my Sparky Linux, um, when it started to boot, it it uh, gave me a message. It said, um, well, let's see, I have it written down here. A start job is running for a dev disk and then a UUID and then it would start a timer of 1 minute and 30 seconds and start counting down. So it would delay the boot of my machine by 1 minute and 30 seconds. When it got when it counted down the 1 minute and 30 seconds, it would immediately boot into the desktop. I had never seen that before, so I, d I started do doing some checking and I figured out what it was. And after doing a little bit of checking on the internet, I, I found that I was not alone. This has happened in the past. Um, but I'd like to share the solution with you so that if it ever happens to you, you'll know where to look. So what you'll need to do is, um, since a particular device uh, which is generating this UUID, a particular device is creating some type of confusion, some type of an issue on boot. And it's delaying the entire boot up of the machine. So what I had to do is I had to do a little bit of digging and start checking some files. And I found that the uh, FSTAB file uh, for some reason had bad information. So basically um, let's just review the terminology. Okay first of all I had a start I had a message on boot that a start job was running and a timer that counted down one minute and 30 seconds it gave me a, a UUID. Now a UUID is a universally unique identifier. And so it is a, in this case, with the FSTAB file, uh, which is short for the file systems table. Uh, it's a system configuration file on Debian systems. It's used within uh, any Debian type system also. Not only straight Debian but Ubuntu based uh, Debian the uh, Ubuntu slash Debian configurations which are extremely dominant within the Linux uh, distribution uh, community. So the FSTEB file typically lists all available disks and disk partitions and indicates how they are to be initialized or otherwise integrated into the overall systems file system. So Basically, it was telling the, my system, it was giving a UUID uh, that the system had a problem with. And so it was hanging up for 1 minute and 30 seconds um, in order to see if it could rectify the situation. When it couldn't, it would just boot into the system. But it would do that on every single boot just for that, just for Sparky Linux. So what I did is I ran sudo lsblk-f. You can see that right here. There's the command. And that gave me a listing of all my devices and their UUIDs. Okay, see this here? <sighs> Okay, so once I had the UUIDs, I went to my 
fstab file. And I found that by going to go into file system, then to etc, scroll down until you see fstab. There it is right there. Okay. And there it is. Now, when I reviewed this, I took a look at the UUIDs and I found that the swap petition, UUID, as you can see over here, the swap petition had a UUID ending in F0C. My FSTAB file showed a UUID for the swap petition, and this is not the same FSTAB. I'm on a different machine right now. But my FSTAB file said my swap petition had a UUID ending in 21273. So you see up here, that's this one. I copied that up to this note. It should have been this, and it was this. And the system was getting hung up because the device ended in, the, the, the UUID for the device ended in, or the petition ended in FOC. But my FSTAB file ended in something else. So it had a different UUID in the FSTAB file than existed in reality. So the FSTAB file had to be modified to reflect reality. So I took out 21273 and basically all I did was, you see where it's uh, the swap petition right here? Okay, all I did was where it says UU ID equals, I took all of that out to this lowercase d. So you would take out the entire UUID. I took out the wrong UUID in the FSTAB file and I put in the correct one. I saved the file and rebooted and it was fine. The system was happy then because everything matched up the FSTAB file reflected reality. What, and it goes through and does a match. If it, if it matches up, it boots fine. If not, it hangs up and basically waits for one minute and 30 seconds to see if the problem resolves. So this was pretty annoying. It was delaying my boot times and so I finally did come up with a solution and I thought I would pass it along to you guys. So um, you have some of the background information. You know what a UUID is, what the FSTAB file is, where it's located. And if you run into a 1 minute and 30 second delay on your boot time, check your FSTAB file run this command sudo lsblk-f so run that get the actual output of your devices and check your swap against your fstab file and then if it doesn't match change your fstab file to match what's actually listed in in the output of this command Okay, guys, so I thought you might get something out of that. Um, I'm sure I'm not the first or the only person that has happened to. Uh, I did some checking on the Internet and found that this has happened quite often. So uh, I hope you uh, got something out of this, guys. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon for the next video. Take care.